In today's video, I'm going to essentially ask you a question, and I want you to have the perfect answer to this question. And the question is, um, why did you start your dojo in the first place? Like, what's the goal of your dojo, so to speak? Um, I guess that's a better question. Like, why does your dojo exist? For what reason? Is it just because you want to serve your community better in your like your area, or do you really want to build like this uh, big? Um, big brand dojo where you have locations all around the US or even all around the world maybe um, like what's the goal of all of this basically and like if you're sitting there right now and you're like you're just thinking ah next YouTube video or you scroll down to the comments or uh, you just click off this video now it's fine like most people will do this probably because they don't know the answer to answer to this question maybe you're in the other group of people who are thinking well, what is the goal of my dojo? Why does my dojo exist? And they're like, uh, well, I don't know, like, I like martial arts, like, I'm good at martial arts, like, this way it exists, decent. But the ones who are probably going to win are, like, the ones who are, like, really sticking around and really, like, maybe pausing the video even right now and being like, well, why does my dojo exist, right? And then, like, I don't know, <laughs> you maybe even journal about it. I mean, obviously, you can still be successful with your dojo if you click off this video now, full transparency. <laughs> Like, you can click off and still be really successful with your dojo. But, um, you can also be really successful with your dojo if you watch this video. And I think after this video, like, you'll have learned something and you'll be maybe, on, like, this is the goal with this video that you are a little closer to your, uh, to your, to your, to your goal, to the goal that you want to achieve with your dojo. And in this video, I'm going to help you to uh, define this goal. So, like, before, I think before we actually define the goal, like, or before you do this, because I'm obviously not going to do it for you in this video, because it's specific to um, every single, like, human being, so to speak, like, you might have a different goal for your dojo than the, 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 the dojo or down the street or whatever. So, like, um, firstly, you have to ask yourself, like, why did you start your dojo? Was it because you wanted to make your dad proud when you were, like, in your mid-twenties and like you were studying something but you had a black belt in karate and you, th you had like the opportunity to open your own school and then your dad was like nah don't do this continue in university but then you said nah i'm gonna start my dojo now like you want to make your dojo successful so your dad is like yeah i knew you always made it like and he's proud of you or i just i don't know doing you start your dojo just because you want to provide for your family even more did you start your dojo for i don't know just to like just because you love martial arts and because you love business and you want to combine those two things um like there will be one reason like there are there are like hundreds of millions of uh reasons for why you could have started your dojo it, it, as i've said before it will be specific to every human being and um like figure this out yourself and like if you don't know how to figure this out it's pretty simple like why did you start like why did you start your dojo? Answer this question. Well, I started my dojo because I love karate, okay? Why do you love karate? Well, I'm doing it since I'm eight years old and, like, I've done it my entire life. All right, why did you do it your entire life? Well, um, I've never started, like, any different sports. And, like, I'm, like, when I started it, when I was, like, eight years old, I was falling in love with it. And, like, throughout my teenage years, I became really good at it. I fought in competitions, so, like... Uh, it has been my passion basically for my entire life since I'm eight years old. Damn, you know the answer. You love karate. That's why you started your dojo. And like, it's not like you're going to ask why and you're always going to come up with the same reason. Like, it might change and there are probably, there's like always more than one reason for why you start your dojo. But um, you also have to adapt like some non-binary thinking here and be like, yep, like this person started their dojo because of X and they started their dojo because of Y. Like, it's always going to be they started their dojo maybe because of 70% of X and 30% of Y. They started their dojo because of 40% um, of, 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 uh, of X and 60% of Y. Whatever. Like, there's a lot, of, there's like not going to be one specific reason. It's going to be multiple ones. But to figure those out is like really helpful because then, like, you know why you're doing all of this. And, um, it's, it's important, trust me, like, when I say this. I mean, I know it's might, like, you might be like, yeah, it, I mean, it's a little boring because you just want to know, like, the new Facebook ad copy that you can use to get students, whatever. But trust me, like, this shit is really going to, like, like, 
help you over the long run. Maybe not so much in the short term, and like you're going to wake up tomorrow and you still have to do the same task, but like you will have some more clarity in your head and that will basically get you way further in ahead with your dojo than uh, than you could believe. And like the other question I want you to answer now is like, what's the goal of your dojo? Like this goes hand in hand with like why you started in the first place, but it, it's, it might change over time. So let's say for example, your dojo, your, the goal of your dojo in the first place was to provide for your family and to make 10k per month with it in revenue. All right, but what happens when you hit those 10k per month? Like then the trade trajectory would change. Like then you, um, so to speak, become like more like a mission-led entrepreneur. So there are like these two terms. The first one is like mission-led entrepreneur and the other one is like, I forgot the other term. I don't even know if there is one, but basically a mission-led entrepreneur is someone who does something not so much because for money anymore, mostly because they're already like financially secure. This probably won't really start to happen unless you're making 10, 50, 20K per month. Like usually if you're making like less than 50K per month, uh, you're not really a mission led entrepreneur. Maybe even it's for you 20K per month, depends on the person. For someone else, it's like 100K per month, right? Anyways, um, like a mission led entrepreneur is something, someone who does something not because of, because of the money, because like he, um, <coughs> sorry for that, he, um, or she obviously, Mm. like does it for the mission like does it to, to really like solve a problem and like i know you like you can say in the beginning like all right i'm doing this just to solve a problem but truthfully if you're making 1k per month with your dojo at the moment and you can barely pay rent and and, and like for food like you're probably not a mission -led entrepreneur like you're like you might still in, over the long run like want to solve this problem with your dojo but like you're more so like driven by like, all right, I, I gotta make money, I gotta pay the bills, I gotta provide for my family, et cetera, et cetera. Like I gotta get out of this rut, so to speak, right? And that's like completely fine. That's a completely fine reason. But if you actually stay conscious and if you actually stay disciplined and patient, like you're going to get out of this rut and you're going to have the financial ca capabilities that you've, uh, that you've always wanted when you were in this rut. And like, what's gonna happen then? Like, are you then like, just going to stop with your dojo and just go back to the rut or just go back to your nine to five or do something else or stop with your dojo or like do you have like a clear vision of like what you want to do then and like the sooner you come up with this the better like what's the goal of your dojo as i've said in the beginning do you want to have like locations all around the world all around the us whatever and like really build like this big dojo brand way of like tens of locations that like you're the owner like you're like there's like a, a pyramid below you of employees Right from managers, from uh, from instructors, receptionists, whoever. Um, or do you maybe like just want to build like a one location dojo with like 150, 150 students, so you can live comfortably with your family and like you can have a good family life. You can spend time with your family, but you can also like really um, focus on the on the dojo. But it's just like a single location, and you don't plan on opening up another location and like. You don't want to scale that much. You just want to gradually stay at like 150 students. Like, what's? Why do you want to do this? And one thing you have to remember here is that it's a it's a it's a quote from Nietzsche, and he said, um, "He who has a why can bear almost any how." So, if you have like a good enough why, like, trust me when I say this, when you're waking up in the morning and you're like already relatively financially secure, like, why are you then still going to work? And trust me, it's not enough to say. Oh, I want to get from 50k per month to 60k per month. It's like, you really have to ask yourself this then, like really, like know the answer. Like, as I've said in the beginning, I, I don't know the answer for you. Like you have to figure this out yourself. How, how to figure this out? I would say like, just sit in a room for days and don't do anything else besides thinking and like just asking yourself, why does my dojo exist? Don't do it maybe this extreme, but like, just go like for a walk every single day until you know the reason. Like say to yourself before you start the walk, this walk i'm not gonna think about anything else than why what's the goal of my dojo like do i want to build like this huge dojo with multiple locations or not like there might be other things you want to do with your dojo right but yeah i guess like the most important thing is that you have the goal of your dojo and then you have like a mission of your dojo and like uh, also a good thing to do this is like to come up with a problem that you want to solve with your dojo so for example the problem is i want to teach people like people in in Chicago don't know karate or people in Chicago don't appreciate karate enough that's the problem you're trying to solve so the mission could be 12 people in Chicago find find back the love of karate to help people uh, in Chicago help uh, help to help <laughs> sorry for that to help people in Chicago to find the love for 
karate again or something like that right pretty simple but like come up with this yourself obviously don't copy it i mean what you could do is to just google this for like other companies maybe even other dojos but like also innovate a little bit on that like just be creative with it like, and really try to figure it out yourself like don't put this on like an easy road and you don't have to have like the answer for this and like after this video after like an hour after this video it might take you weeks months maybe even years to figure this out which is completely fine but just know like what's the goal of your dojo of the long run like what's the 10 year 100 year plan for your life or one year year plan of your life like really structure it out and like ask yourself where do i want to be with my dojo in 10 years do i still want to run my dojo then or do you i Maybe just use my dojo to then um, do something di different in business, whatever. Like, just figure this stuff out and then, like, really track it down. Like, all right, in 10 years, I want to be there. So, for that, I have to do X, Y, and Z, so to speak. So, um, yeah, I guess you get the point of today's video. Like, really come up with, with a why for what's the goal of your dojo? Why are you doing this in the first place, right? Um, if you want more students for your dojo, check out the first link in the description. I love you. Take care.